Day 8, Queen Oratonsa's defamation trial brought by the Tanster against the covert defamers. You may continue, Counselor. Plaintiff Sawyer, thank you, Your Honor. Queen Hortense, who was Adele Egway? Queen Hortense, she was the niece of Madame Capin, the woman who ran my boarding school. Question, and what was your relationship with her? Answer, she was my best friend. Adele was a sweet girl of about my own age. We grew up together and we shared everything. Question, yesterday, during the Tanster's ongoing reading of the memoirs of Constant, Napoleon Bonaparte's personal valet, Constant claimed that Adele was, in fact, the daughter of your father, Alexandre de Beauharnais. That would make her your half-sister. Answer. That is not a thing that a person of discretion would repeat publicly. Question. As you are aware, one of the accusations that the presumed public relations agent of the Bavarian royal family has leveled against you is that your lack of forthcomingness regarding certain facts impugns your credibility. Answer. That is an unfair conclusion. If a person does not want to announce certain facts about themselves, then that is completely within their rights. Just because a person may have a certain notability, it does not give others the right to demand to know everything about them. The fact is that it is not all that uncommon for a person to have a child outside of their marriage. Though there may be a certain embarrassment or shame about those offspring, they are still children in need of love, nurturing, and care. A standard practice at the time was to create a reasonable identity for those children and to arrange for their upbringing. There's no justification at all in airing publicly those potentially humiliating circumstances that those children have no control over. It certainly would not serve the best interests of those children. If that makes me less credible to presumed agents, so be it.